Ladies and gentlemen, we present The Navy Lark with our three stars, Dennis Price, John Pertwee, and Leslie Phillips. We all have our financial worries, whether it's the rent which can't be due again already, the HP payment on that car which collapsed when you got it home, or the demands of that thieving little meter that the gas board tucked away under the stairs when you weren't looking. Well, our naval detachment on the island of Portsmouth also have difficulties in making ends meet. Naturally, their books balance absolutely perfectly. The, the problem is to make them balance sufficiently well to have enough over to buy the wardroom gin without being caught when the books are inspected. Ah, good morning, Heather. Good morning, Mr. Phillips. I say, you've got a lot of letters there. Who are they for? Me. As a matter of fact, their birthday card. Oh, I see. It's somebody's birthday. Hmm? Anyone I know? Well, mine, actually. Yours? Oh, good gracious. <laughs> I say, that's absolutely... Um, well, that is uh, good health. Uh, uh, Bung-ho. I, I mean, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, 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 no, no, one no Trump. Uh, I... Many happy returns. Yes, thanks very much. I'm 33. I, I... <laughs> Number one wants you. There's a buzzer again. A buzzer? Oh, so it is. Uh, again? That's the fourth time. Oh, Lord, I'd better answer it at once. Well, come in. You buzzed, sir? Yes, Mr. Phillips, I buzzed. <laughs> you slept well? Yes, thank you, sir. You had a good breakfast? Excellent, sir. Splendid. Oh. <laughs> and you, sir? Alas, no, Mr. Phillips. Whilst you've been snoring and gorging, I've been buzzing. Oh, dear. <laughs> When I wasn't buzzing, I was thinking, Mr. Phillips. Well, that's a novelty for a start. <laughs> uh, uh, thinking, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, thinking that either I need a louder buzzer or a new sub-lieutenant. Hmm. It's a very difficult decision. Now, I've received a signal from Commander Povey informing me that he is coming over to audit the unit accounts. Oh, that'll be a labor of love, sir. Uh, <laughs> as you say, Mr. Phillips, it might also be a little uh, delicate when he delves into the unit comfort fund. Comfort fund? Well, surely that can't be in the red, sir. And why not? Well, sir, Chief Petty Officer Pertwee reckons his contributions alone will keep the Bank of England going for a year. It's possible, and that's where the trouble lies. The unit comfort fund is not only solvent, its coffers are filled to bursting point. In fact, the credit balance is frankly embarrassing. Oh, contributions either given or um, extracted have simply poured in, but I seem to have omitted to uh, purchase anything out of it. <laughs> I had noticed. <laughs> really? Yes. I imagine CPO Pertwee has too. Yes, sir. He says the last comfort that came out of that fund was a yo-yo when there were fourpence and nobody knew what they were. <laughs> Nonsense. It was sixpence and I knew. <laughs> well, I know one thing the fund could do, sir. It's Heather's birthday, so it ought to give her a present. Excellent, Mr. Phillips. It might solve the problem of getting rid of the surplus money, sir. Huh? Getting rid of it? What are you suggesting we buy her? A yacht? Well, that would be rather nice, sir. I mean, she's fond of sailing and she spends a lot of her leave... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Phillips, there are times when I wish you'd stop talking long enough to say something. <laughs> I know, sir. What about a birthday party? The comfort pun, pun I mean, the... the pun, <laughs> I won't tie it up, sir. That's all right, Mr. Billy. Uh, the comfort fund could pay for it, sir. But uh, put Chief Petty Officer Pertwee in charge of the catering and you'll be in the clear. Yeah, Mr. Phillips, the intention is to reduce the capital in the comfort fund, not dispose of it entirely. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything else, sir. Well, neither can I, so we'll do it. I'll go and see CPO Pertwee at once. Close the morning. Chief, I was just wondering, when do these stores open? Well, I could tell you that, Johnson. Over Chief Petty Officer Pertwee's dead body. <laughs> but aren't we supposed to issue things? I do, orders. And here's the right one for you. Johnson, I have a little surprise for you. I can't afford it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Now, look, you're getting a 40 hour pulse complete with railway warrant. How much? How much? How much? Charles, are you suggesting that I charge you for a railway warrant? Yes, Chief. Last time you charged me ten bob more than a first-class fare. 
Now, look, don't say This time there's no charge whatsoever. You mean you're actually going to give me a railway warrant? I am. To scarp a flow. What? <laughs> but I live in Endon. There's a lucky boy. You'll pass it twice. <laughs> What do I want to go to Scarpa Flow for? Me. It so happens, Johnson, that a relative of mine out here... Oh, me another it, one. Yeah. <laughs> this relative of mine is uh, one or two little items short in his stalls up there, you oh, see. Oh, he's a relative of yours, all right, then. Down, fight out, down. <laughs> now, look, he's got an inspection shortly. Yes. So if we happen to have one or two little items uh, he needs, you're going to take them up to him. Am I? Yeah. The crates are all packed. Crates? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, have a good dinner. They're flaming heavy. <laughs> Why don't you send them up by goods train? There isn't time, mate. This stuff has got to be there Thursday or the court martial starts Friday. <laughs> now, why don't you go? I would, Johnson. I would. I would willingly. There's, there's a slight snag. Yeah. The dockyard police at Portsmouth and I have come to a slight arrangement. <laughs> What's that, then? As soon as I step off the launch, they run me in and find out what for afterwards. But even when you got the pass? Especially when I got the pass. <laughs> Born voyage. <laughs> it's number one. Uh, uh, good morning, sir. Oh, I can assure you, sir, I had nothing to do with it, sir. Nothing at all. Really, really, really. Nothing to do with what? Uh, well, nothing to do with nothing, sir. Uh -huh. Dull for you. Uh, Chief, it has come to my notice that it is Heather's birthday. Oh, is that so, sir? Many happy returns of the day. Oh, thank you very much. I'm 30 under 30. No, no, no. <laughs> I was going to say that it's been decided to purchase a birthday present for her out of the unit comfort fund. Hey, just a minute. Do, do, do you mean you're, you're actually taking money out of the comfort fund? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Furthermore, Chief, I want you to spend the money for us. Me? Yes, Chief. You're pulling more legs out, of course. <laughs> Put him on my leg. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> Put him on my leg. <laughs> Johnson? Yes, Chief? No! <laughs> aye, aye, Chief. <laughs> I'm perfectly serious. I'm allocating a certain amount out of the comfort fund to get Heather a present. I see. All right, all right, sir. All right. Now, then, what, what, what can I get her for a tanner? Uh, <laughs> The comfort fund is being considerably more generous than that, Chief, and we felt that your uh, peculiar talents for uh, trading, you'd be the best man to find out what Heather would like and to buy it. I don't like this. Don't like it a bit. No. No, I don't like it. There's a dirty great snag somewhere. <laughs> but, um, there is one other thing. Oh, I right, get it comes. The unit's comfort fund is also holding a party for her this evening. Yes, I thought it might, yeah. Take it to the same price as usual, of course. No, uh... no, Chief. Admission will be free. Yeah, hey, come again. <laughs> there will be no charge for admission and all drinks and refreshments will be on the house. Oh, well, I see, sir. Um, but uh, could I ask a question? By all means, sir. With all due respect, sir, but... Um... Have you gone start raving bonkers? <laughs> and no, Chief, I have not. Oh, then it's me. Oh, what a shame. Get back, you bumcher. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, uh, Johnson, I shall expect to see you at the party as well, of course. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible, sir. Impossible? Why? Well, I've only got 48 hours to get up to Scarpa with some crates and stuff. Bumcher! <laughs> ah, yes, well, I see. Well, I don't know what you intended to do this evening, Johnson, but unless I see you at the party, I shall make full inquiries as to where you were. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, but, but, sir... And you... why? I'll see you ten, sir. Splendid. Now get weaving on the purchase of the present, Chief. I I said... Uh, something about a fiver will do very nicely. Yeah, well, I should be able... Uh, a fiver? A fiver. Carry on, Chief. Grand morning, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me... A fiver and a free party. I don't like it. I don't like I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Why not, Chief? There's a load of muck flying about somewhere and I don't know which way to duck. <laughs> Chief? Yeah? Chief, what are you going to do about that relative of yours at Scarpa Flow? Hope he knows a good lawyer, my son. He's going to need one. <laughs> no, then. What have we got in this stalls that Heather would like as a present? You better make a list, Johnson. Come on. Now, go on, take this down. Right, old chief. Uh, here, wait a minute. Where'd you get that pen? Well, it's me own. It writes underwater. How do you know? 
Says so on the guarantee. Well, watch it or I may shove you off the jetty to prove it. <laughs> now then. Now then, what we got? What have we got? Commander Pierre? Yes, what on earth's happened to Commander Shaw? Hasn't he arrived yet? He could have walked here from the Admiralty by now. Well, I understand he's on his way here from the main gate, sir. Well, where the devil has he been? London train got in an hour ago. I'm sure I couldn't say, sir. Perhaps he's been having a chat with the driver. Well, knowing Commander Shaw, I should think that's more than likely. Ah, <clears throat> good morning, Povey. Sorry I'm late, but I've been having a chat with the train driver. <laughs> I see. He's happy in his work, I trust. Not very, no. Says all that diddly-dum, diddly-dum, diddly-dum. Gets on his nerves. <laughs> Commander Shaw, in case you had forgotten, we are supposed to be auditing the island detachment's accounts today. Of course I haven't forgotten. I have sent a signal to the island informing them we shall be over to do an audit and we shall require their books to be prepared and in order. If they are, it'll be the first time ever. Oh, what do you mean? The only books they're interested in are the What Won the 330, Any to Come, Glad of It variety. <laughs> I see. Well, if their books aren't in order, they'll have plenty to come, all right. But I doubt if they'll be glad of it. Are you ready? Well, Mr. Phillips, are you in a festive mood in readiness for tonight's party? Absolutely bursting at the seams, sir. Well, simmer down. The party isn't until tonight. Ah. Has C.P.O. Poetry got the present yet, sir? He's on his way round here now. I had to turn down several ideas he had for a somewhat um, novel gift. Novel, sir? Uh, yes. Under the heading of uh, something for a uh, bottom drawer, sir, he tried a set of mess tins, <laughs> blankets, a squeegee, and in a moment of sheer desperation, a hammock. <laughs> Hardly feminine, were they, sir? <laughs> no, Mr. Phillips. I mean, um, what would the hammer look like? I mean, wrapped in blankets, swinging in a hammock, eating out of a mess tin with a squeegee. <laughs> I'm sure she would look absolutely exquisite, Mr. Phillips. Oh, lummy. How's that for a vivid imagination? <laughs> Come in. Ah, uh, Chief, have you ever support me, reporter, sir? Ah, you have the present? Uh, yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Only, uh, it was five guineas, actually, sir. Oh, never mind. The comfort fund won't battle over a few paltry shillings. I don't get it. It's done its start over the farthing up to now. Mm. Uh, time's changed, Chief. Well, what do you think of the present? Oh, absolutely first class, sir. Oh, I'm glad you approve, sir. Uh, it has one very unusual feature, sir, which might be very useful for anyone in the Navy. What's that? It writes underwater, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it does it really. How deep? Oh, I'll have to ask Abel Seaman Johnson that, so you see, he... He used to have one. <laughs> uh, shall I ask Heather to come in now, sir? Certainly, Mr. Phillips. Oh, Chief, about this party tonight. Uh, yes, sir. I want you to attend to the catering arrangements. Uh, supply the wines, gin, and so on. Well, out of my own pocket, I'll be ruined. Seventeen and a tenner for a bottle of scotch. No, 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 no relax, yeah. Chief. Maybe. The comfort fund is paying. Oh, that's different. Yes, we don't want the entire ship's company queuing up with straws round a bottle of milk. <laughs> what, the comfort fund's paying for the wallet and all? Yes, Chief. Oh, I can't stand this suspense any longer, sir. Suspense, true? Yes, sir. I feel as if... Oh, I feel as if I'm holding a bomb for a bloke who forgot to tell me what time it was going to blow up. <laughs> All in good time, Chief. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Hello, Chief. Are you just going off? Uh, yes, he is, Mr. Phillips. But he doesn't know what time. <laughs> you wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Heather. Many happy returns of the day. Oh, thank you, sir. And Mr. Phillips and I would like you to accept this little gift. Many happy returns, Heather. Oh, thank you. Oh, a pen. Oh, it's just what I wanted. I say, is it really? <laughs> it writes underwater, you know. Oh, does it? I'm sure that'll be terribly useful. Yes. All you need now is some waterproof paper. Well, I, I just don't know what to say. You shouldn't have spent all your money like this. No, but I had no I... idea you were so fond of me. You're both very naughty. Who's been talking? I don't know. I can't get over it. Fancy spending all that money on me. Oh, but we didn't spend any... Uh, mm -hmm. 
Mr. Phillips, perhaps you'd like to go along to the main hall and see whether it's been got ready for the party this evening? What? Oh, yes, sir, yes. Oh, yes, I would. I would. I would. Oh, desperately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right away. I, I, right away, sir. Party? What party, sir? Oh, for you, Heather, in honor of your birthday. And I wondered if I might escort you. For me? But I didn't know anything about it. I, I can't believe it. Of course you can, sir. I'd love you to escort me. Splendid. I'll pick you up outside the Wren quarters about eight, then, shall I? I'll be ready, sir. If you are, you'll be the first woman that ever was. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, hello, number one here. The jetty guard, yes, sir. Pompey launch approaching, sir. Oh, good gracious. Uh, I'd forgotten about Commander Shaw and Povey. Shall I start gunnery practice, sir? They're within range. Uh, they're... No, 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 no. Not this time. Let them land. Aye, aye, sir. Not bad news, sir. Ghastly. Inspection party from Portsmouth is about to land. I must inform CPO Perchy at once. I like to give him a supporting chance uh, sometimes. Uh, you better get him on the phone. Look, how many more times, Johnson? How many more times? I'll tell you, I haven't seen your pen. <laughs> Well, it was here before you went out. <laughs> it's the one that writes underwater. Then you must have left it somewhere. Look in the bar. <laughs> you sure you haven't got it, Chief? Well, of course, I'm positive. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. Look, give me a couple of days and I'll get you another one just like it. Wholesale. Aye, oh, aye, you have got it. No, I haven't. <laughs> but you'll get it in a minute right between the flaming ears. Now, cork it up. I'm trying to think. Why, what's up then? What's the trouble? I don't know, Johnson. I don't know. I've, I've just drawn every penny out of the country fund and spent it on wallop. Oh, number one will go up the wall. Number one told me to. What, go up the wall? No, you <laughs> need Spend the comfort funds you've got in games. Johnson, there's something fishy going on. I know. Someone's whipped me pen. Will you shut up about it, me? Well, it writes underwater. I know it writes underwater. <laughs> But if I find it, I'll shove it down your throat and empty the ink until it comes out of your ear. Stores here, we're closed. No, you're not, Chief. Oh, aren't we? No, uh, we are about to receive visitors, Chief. Visitors? What visitors, sir? The inspection party from Pompey, Chief. Hey? Oh, they're not due again yet. I've only just got over the last one. <laughs> they're likely, but this time they'll be inspecting the books, not the stores. They are doing an audit. An audit? An, mm. an, an audit? An audit? <laughs> oh! He's that. An oldie. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I've got it now, sir. Yeah. Yes. yes, good chief. I was afraid of that. Yes, oh, yes, but everything adds up very nicely now. Does it, chief? Yes, sir. Grand morning, isn't it? Uh, 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 yes, carry on. Hi, I said. Johnson, I got it. Oh, thanks, chief. Where was it? Where was what? My pen, of course. I'm not talking about point pen. I mean, I, I, I mean, I know why the comfort fund has been dashing out. The books are being all the all the mitty me five. All the mitty me all the all the mitty me five. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to Chief for the Officer Pert, we cease this efforts to spend the lolly. The books are in the clear. Oh, very noble of you, Chief. Thank you, Johnson. I'm glad you appreciated. I just wish that. Uh... While you were getting rid of all that money, you'd bought me another pen. Look, will you wrap out about that perishing pen? I told you, I'll get you another one. Well, it used to write under water. All right, all right, it wrote under water. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll get you one that if you fill it up with water, it writes under ink. <laughs> now then, I'll go and get it right away. I just don't understand it. How these books could have got into this state is beyond me. Well, well, what seems to be wrong with them, sir? Absolutely nothing. It's a miracle. No, it isn't, Povey. What do you mean? Don't you remember? You sent them a signal telling them we were coming. Silly Billy. <laughs> yes, I take it you've completed your audit, gentlemen? Very nearly. We haven't seen the books for the unit comfort fund yet. Well, then I should quit while the going's good, sir. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, shall, I, um, shall I get them for you, sir? Uh, yes, Mr. Phillips. Aye, aye, sir. Oh. You know what number one's trouble is, don't you, Heather? Yes, Mr. Phillips, he told me. Mm. It's you. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. How's the audit going? Oh, fine. They've only got the comfort fund to have a go at now. Oh, dear. 
that's torn it. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. But there must be a fortune in it. No, not now, not since we drew the money out to pay for the party and your present. And... My present? <laughs> oh, 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 law. But I thought you'd... Uh, we did, oh, yes. Do you mean that it wasn't from you and number one at all? You just got it to get the comfort fund right before the audit. Yes. It's a good idea, wasn't it? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Uh... No, no, I, well, that, that is... Uh, well, if you look at it another way, I mean, on, on, the, on the other hand, I... <clears throat> I say, Heather. Well? May I escort you to the party tonight? No, I've already... Oh. Hmm. Yes, that's quite an idea. All right, Leslie. You can meet me outside the Wren quarters at eight o'clock. I say, can I really? Well, that'd be wonderful. It should be pretty good, yes. <laughs> I don't feel quite so badly about one thing now. Oh, what's that? Well, I wasn't going to mention it, but I've lost my pen. What, already? Yes. You see, when Chief Petty Officer Pertwee was here a few moments ago... <laughs> I... <laughs> what, what, what did he want? Oh, he just came in to wish me many happy returns. Oh, how jolly nice of him. Yes. Now, the funny thing is that when I was going to show him the pen, I, I couldn't find it. Oh, number one, I'm very concerned about this comfort fund account. You are, sir? Well, it should be in order. Oh, it's in order, all right. Ah, splendid. But there isn't anything in it. You ought to try and build the fund up a bit, you know. Yes. Uh, why don't you try running a few social evenings with raffles and that sort of thing? Well, the thought had occurred to me, sir. Well, see what can be done. Uh, yes, sir. C.P.O. Pertwee will be, for a start. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're having a party here tonight, sir. We should be delighted if you would stay for it. Oh, we'd love to, wouldn't we, Povey? Hmm? Oh, well, I suppose it might be a good idea. Give us a chance to show you how to raise a bit of money for that comfort fund. Splendid, splendid. I shall be a most willing pupil. I look forward to seeing you there, gentlemen. Can't we meet in the wardroom first? Oh, much as I'd love to, sir. If you'll excuse me, I've already promised to pick up our guest of honour at eight o'clock. Oh, very well, then. We'll go to the wardroom on our own, sir, shall we? Why don't you look we all together? Oh, uh, you, Mr. Phillips. Well, uh, what are you doing outside the rain quarters, eh? Me? Uh, these rain quarters? Good Lord, sir. Indeed they are. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing, sir. Just taking the, uh, the air, sir. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> can't you take it somewhere else? <laughs> Yes, sir. It's jolly good round here, sir. It's mm. uh, invigorating. <sighs> Who do you think you are, Mr. Phillips? Nature boy? <laughs> no, sir. No, no. No. What are you doing here, sir? Hmm? Waiting for someone? No, well, me? No, no, no. Just <laughs> taking the air. <sighs> Wonderful stuff, isn't it, sir? Uh, <laughs> champagne, Mr. Phillips. Champagne. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. <coughs> you were going to say something, sir? No, no, no. no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, champagne. I've already said that. Oh, yes, I so you did. What time is it, Mr. Phillips? What? Uh, oh, it's, um... It's five past, um, five past eight, sir. Five well, past? Yes, five past, sir. Oh, uh, five past, eh? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Five past, sir. Still? Uh, five and a half, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, bum, 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 uh, bum, 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 are you sure you're not waiting for someone, sir? No, 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 I'm not waiting for anybody. Are you? No, 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 sir. No, no, just taking the, uh, the air, sir. Ah, <laughs> champagne. <laughs> champagne, sir. Champagne. <laughs> yeah, it's six minutes past, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Lieutenant Price, sir, Mr. Phillips, I, I was afraid you wouldn't still be here. Uh... Oh, what is it, Goldstein? Hmm? I, uh, I've got a message from Heather, sir. No, oh, that'll be for me. me. It's, uh, <laughs> it's for both of you, sir. Uh, here it is. Uh, thank you. I don't know about taking the air, Mr. Phillips. We seem to have been given it. Given it, sir? Uh, yes. This says, um, dear both, 
Hope you've had a nice chat. Would have let you know I wasn't coming before, but couldn't find the pen the Comfort Fund bought me. Heather. <laughs> oh. oh. Comfort Fund bought me is heavily underlined. Now, I wonder who told her the Comfort Fund paid for it, eh? <laughs> Champagne, sir. It's terribly invigorating. <laughs> Mr. Phillips. Yes, it's uh, eight minutes past, sir. <laughs> Champagne, sir. <laughs> I say, Heather, I'm terribly sorry to hear you've lost that pen. Great shame. It's all right, sir. Chief Petty Officer Pertwee's going to get me one just like it wholesale. Oh. Good show. I, I say, would you, um, uh, would you care to dance? Oh, I'd love to. But the band's not playing. Isn't it? Oh, no, it is. <clears throat> uh, let's have a drink. Come on. Johnson, join the party. Oh, yes, she's a bit of all right, aren't you, lovey? What are you talking about? <laughs> you blithering bumpkin, I'm talking about the jollity. Oh, yes, she, yes. Oh, and thanks for getting this pen for me. I'll give you the two quid on payday. Yes. That's all right, Johnson, you will. I shall deduct it at the source if I get out the chance. <laughs> it's exactly like the one I lost. Same colour and everything. Yeah, of course it is. Pertwee always looks after his friends. Yeah. Well, then, come on, let's get it. The wallet was still on the house, eh? <laughs> this is where Chief Petty Officer Pertwee gets his own back on the comfort fine. <laughs> come on, in. Ah, oh, there you are, Chief. Enjoying yourself? Yes, thank you, sir. Smashing party, sir. Uh, Commander Pertwee has been most impressed with the audit, uh, haven't you, sir? Yes. The books, they actually balance. Well, sir. It's incredible. I don't think it's been easy, sir. <laughs> Even I couldn't spend all that time in this... No, 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 quite so, Chief. No, no, quite so, Chief. Now, as this is a free evening, I'm sure you'd like to have some raffle tickets. Oh, of course, sir. Yeah, naturally, sir. As many as you like. Splendid. Shall we say 30 tickets, sir? Ah, maybe 35, you like, sir. In for a penny, in for a pound. Sir, that's the Chief, and you're in for 35 pounds. They're a pound each. Are they really, sir? I don't know how you could do it at the price, but I get what? A pound each, Chief. The Comfort Fund is extremely grateful. A splendid contribution. Isn't it, sir? How did it happen? That's what I want to know. How did it happen? <laughs> what happened? You see, number one, just a little initiative is all that's needed to build up your comfort fund. Build it up? Brilliant idea of Commander Purvis, Chief. Can't think why it never occurred to me. It's telling me. Thirty-five quid, straight down the drain. And if you don't win this week, you might be lucky next. Next week, sir. Yes, the Comfort Fund will be running social evenings every week now, Chief. Yes, yeah, I thought it would. No yes. Spot prizes, lucky, lucky dips, yeah, quid each. Lovely, lovely. lovely. Treasure hunt. Yeah, with no treasure, I know. Yeah, yeah. And admission by tickets. Yeah, yeah. quid each. It's a car, but I've been shocked this oh, one. Yes, of course. Oh, invite oh. all your friends, Chief. Grand evening, isn't it? Yes, That was Dennis Price, John Pertwee, and Leslie Phillips working their passage in The Navy Lark, written by Laurie Wyman. Dennis Price was the number one. John Pertwee was the chief petty officer. Leslie Phillips was the sub-lieutenant. Commander Povey was played by Richard Caldicott, and Heather was Heather Chasen. Commander Shaw was Michael Bates. Abel Seaman Johnson was Ronnie Barker. And Goldstein was Tenny Evans. The recorded production was by Alistair Scott Johnson. <laughs> Navy Lark was presented by the BBC.